Well, here we are in all of our casual glory, looking at what is now my TBR shelf because I have packed up, see these boxes here, all of my red books. <laughs> there are a lot of them. <laughs> Um, there are quite a few boxes. I'm kind of surrounded. So this shelf is kind of like my established TBR shelf in some way, shape, or form. So they all have kind of a reason for being here. Um, the ones over here are my five-star prediction books, which you will recognize if you've watched that video. If you haven't, I will link that in a card up above. Um, these books right here are a secret TBR um, that I am working on a video for so I'll leave you in the dark on that for just a little bit longer. Um, these are my classics TBR books or modern classics um, and then this one over here is a book that I am going to be buddy reading in March so I wanted to keep that out and separate and then down here on this shelf, we have um, the books that are available to me easily on audio. So um, I went through my entire TBR and checked Scribd to see if they had the audiobook for those books. And these are the ones, um, aside from this one, which is on Audible and I'll be listening to on Audible. The rest of these are on Scribd as an audiobook, which is super easy for me to use and um, they do unlimited books per month. So it makes it really cheap and easy to listen to audiobooks. This is not sponsored, by the way. A Girl Can Dream, but it's not sponsored. Um, but yes, so these are the ones that are available on audiobook. I wanted them readily available so that when I finish an audiobook, I can just go here and be like, oh, I want my next audiobook to be this one. Um, and they're all just right there together. Some of these up here are also available on audiobook, but because they're part of a specific TBR, uh, I didn't include those down here, obviously. And then for these two shelves, we have something a little different. So they are arranged by the year they were acquired. Uh, starting on this side, these are the ones that were acquired in 2014 or 2015. Uh, the ones here were acquired in 2016, and then these were acquired in 2017. And then when you get down to the bottom shelf, these books standing up here, those were acquired in 2018. And then these are kind of like the odds and ends. So these two on the bottom are two nonfiction books that I've had for quite a while, probably 10 plus years, um, and still haven't read them. Um, to be fair, I've had a, I had a lot of books in both of these kind of research categories or nonfiction categories, and I've read the other books about these topics. These are just kind of the stragglers. And then the Animorphs books are um, technically purchased in 2017, but I'm not going to explain my convoluted logic as to why they go down here and not up here. That's kind of how I've set it, have it set up. The reason for the date specific or the year it was acquired specific uh, organizing is because part of my bookopoly is that I have community bookshelf cards that I draw each month and... Um, there are two cards for each year for 2014, 15, 16, and 17 for me to choose a book that was acquired in that year to read that month. So this just makes it easier when I pull that card I can just grab from the pile or the shelf um, of which books go in that category. Um, now obviously we are hoping to move in the next two months so this won't be super relevant for a long time. But it seems to be working for me as of right now, and it also means that my bookshelves don't look super, super bare, which is a little depressing if I'm not going to be honest, because when I took all the books off, all my red books off, it was just so sad in here. So I'm glad to have some books there to fill it up, but I'm also looking forward to reading quite a few of these before we move. And then once we do move, I am over the moon excited about getting to arrange new bookshelves or the same bookshelves in a new location slash configuration depending on what I decide to do. Yeah, I look forward to that a lot. <laughs> I just look forward to being in a new space and being able to get cozy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!